Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this smoked out kind of cat eye with a very uplifted flick. So yeah, I really like this. I was inspired by the kind of fembot look that Kate Jane Hughes does. And I just wanted to wear or create a more wearable look because I didn't want to do a whole colorful look, which I love color, but today I'm going to work. I didn't want to do a super fun look and then have to decide what I was going to wear afterwards. So did this neutral tone well, not neutral, but this warm toned, smoky eye for you guys. And I hope you guys like it. If you want to see how I got this, just keep watching. Also, before that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the like button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You can catch me there every single day. And my YouTube name is It's Alejandra Castro. So yeah, let's just get into it. So for today's look, um, obviously, I already have most of my makeup on. I have my foundation, everything like that, just because... Um, Nothing new there, been using the same things. I will list them down below, but there's nothing new. So we're just gonna hurry up and jump into the eye look. And we're gonna be using the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. I just really, really love this palette. I've been using it a lot in my little mini tutorials on Instagram and just every day, just because it's such a good, neutral, warm tone palette that's perfect for everyday looks or even, you know, more smoked out or dramatic type looks as well. So that's what we're using. And I think that a lot of people will have these colors in a lot of their makeup collections already. You don't necessarily need this palette, which is really, really great too. All right, so for the first color, we're gonna go in with the shade Hustler, just because it's a nice transition shade to start off with. And that's gonna go all over the crease. And we're definitely gonna bring that in to the inner corner. So we're gonna go for like this nice, very sultry cat eye type of look, eyeshadow look. I'm not like bringing too much right here because I am going to create a specific shape. All right, and then so for the next shade we're going to be using, I'm going to go ahead and use Crack On, which is this nice brown color. And I'm using a fluffy pencil brush. This is from Morphe. It's the M321. And we're going to just start creating kind of like a wing effect, but it's going to be more turned up to give us this nice cat eye type of eye look shape instead of straight out, which is what I would normally do. And then I'm just taking whatever's left and kind of bringing that in. And I'm taking this very light uh, blending brush. This is also from Morphe. To kind of blend it out. Make sure it's got that upturned look. And then we're going to go into Hot Gossip, which is a nice, like, light tan, taupey color. Go right over that. And then we're also taking that Hot Gossip color and bringing it towards the inner corner as well. This is going to give a nice, help us give a nice, smoky, sultry kind of effect. So, I, if you've watched my videos, I know I mentioned this in one of my other makeup videos or some kind of video that I uploaded about a frog jumping on me and like my terrible luck with frogs. Well, now there's a frog in the house. It scared me the other day because I was putting a dish up in the sink and then all of a sudden I see the little leaves on this fake plant move and out jumped a freaking frog. So, now I gotta deal with that. It's not there anymore. I don't know where it's at. It's kind of taunting me. And I feel so anxious just walking around all the time anywhere I know there's water because I know it probably wants to be around somewhere where it's moist, wet, warm, and dark. So like that could be the bathroom, that could be the shower. I'm so scared. I'm just... Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Okay, and next I'm going to go into Tabloid. And we're going to start deepening that up. some of that and putting that in the inner corner too. I've kind of been in like a creative funk when it comes to makeup. I don't really know what to film. Like for fashion, it's pretty easy for me to figure out something right now, but like beauty wise, I'm kind of struggling, but this came into my mind this morning and I was like, I gotta film it because I think it's gonna turn out good. And if I don't film it, I'm gonna be really mad and think I should have filmed it. And then, you know, it just happens whenever you try to recreate it for a tutorial that it doesn't always end up looking the same and I was scared of that so I was like let me just film it real quick I already have the look in mind 
it shouldn't take too long. Taking more of that tabloid with the little fluffy brush and just deepening that crease, that outer crease and connecting it. Right, and then to really deepen it up, we're gonna go in with tabloid, which is this really pretty dark, like brownish gray toned color. Taking an angled brush and I'm just following that wing that we've kind of created with the shadow. And then blending it out. Blending it into that outer crease. I will clean it up a bit too because I don't want it to blend it down where I don't want it to blend so far down. I want to keep this nice like upturned wing look going. Okay, I'm going back into that taboo color with my fluffy pencil brush, tapping off the excess and then dipping that into the inner corner and blending it out. And I'm using that thin blending brush just to blend it all in. So I really like the shape because it really just changes the eyes and kind of makes them look more upturned and more kittenish, I think. All right, now, so for the lid, I'm gonna dip into Full Exposure, which is a nice like creamy white color and mix it into that hot gossip color so it looks more like a skin shade versus a light kind of white color. I'm just gonna pat that all over my lid. But we're not going to be done there. I'm going to add a topper on top. All right, so I'm taking a synthetic flat shader brush, spraying that with a little bit of the Morphe um, spray. And then I'm taking the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow from Hourglass in the shade Smoke. It's this really pretty, like, taupey color. Hopefully I picked the right one. And dipping my brush into that. Usually I would use my fingers, but I feel like to really pack it on, I can take it with a brush. And I'm just kind of following that um, wing we've created. Focusing it really out here. And then I'm taking some of it and putting it in the corner. So now to really keep it and make sure this is deep, I'm going to go ahead and... Where's my palette? So I'm going to go ahead and dip into that taboo color again with my fluffy um, pencil brush and really just kind of smoke this out so it's not so defined and more of just a shape that we've created that's just nicely blended out and blended it into the um, eyelid color. Taking actually a little bit of the spyglass color which is a black eyeshadow and really concentrating that on the outer corner, but real close to my waterline, or my lashes, the lash line. What I decided to do to make it pop a little bit more, I'm going in with Silk Teddy from the palette, and I'm taking my finger and applying that like right in the inner corner. Like that, and then... Blending it out a little bit. And I also want this look a little bit more warmed up, so I'm going in with the shade Hoped, which is like a nice reddish brown color. And just lightly with this fluffy blending brush, kind of going over the crease. And then for my lower lash line, we're going to go in with the same shade Hustler, and I'm going to go ahead and dip into hot gossip at the same time and mix them. Just to save some time. And then we're going to go into Crack On, just to deepen it up. And then we're going to go into Taboo, and just focus that mainly on the outer corner. And then, why not, dip a little bit into Spyglass, and really just take that right there. So before I do mascara and all that, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my face. Um, I'm going to be applying a highlight <laughs> it is the and for once it's not the becca 
uh, liquid highlighter. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrisi highlighter, oldie but a goodie. And I was like, let me just use a different one for once, you know, something they don't see coming. And I'm just spraying my brush. I really do love this highlighter. I should use it more. And then for my blush, I'm going to go into the Ghost palette from Hourglass. And I'm going to be using, I think, maybe these three right here. Maybe mixing them. Just to get like a nice natural look. All right, let's finish this up. So for my lips, I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the shade 90s Icon. And then for our lipstick, I'm using the Bare Minerals, um, I don't know what it's called, but the Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Balance. Yeah, Balance. <laughs> and it's just a really pretty nude. Like I said, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. These are, kind of, ugh, these are my favorite tones to work with. I love this and I kind of liked getting a little bit more out of my comfort zone and creating a more winged out upward cat eye look. So yeah, if you like this, remember to hit like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Everything I used also will be linked down below. So if you're looking for any products, it's down there. So.